Hey there, hope all is well. Wanted to take a quick minute to share uh, something that was just passed along to me from one of the RTD community members. I appreciate the lookout as always. And so, as you guys can tell from the subtitle or the title of this video, uh, Daimler to lay off 10,000 to cut 10,000 jobs between now and 2022. And so, as you guys are going to see, read through the article, that's just probably the beginning because 10,000 is what we're initially told. But they're quoted as saying that that's uh, something they're, they're going to be doing something in the five digit realm and 10,000 happened to be the first first number in the five digit realm. And so that lets me know that there possibly could be more. And it's all in the push to get caught up to speed with the so-called demand of the public public of having electronic vehicles. And of course, you got all the things happening with the Tesla cyborg truck or whatnot and the whole push to go electrical. And so that right there is causing a major shakeup in the amount of staff needed to do such. And so in order to do that, you got to cut to become a little bit more um, flexible with your payroll so that you can invest into the new technology as opposed to paying overhead costs for maintaining staff or whatnot. And so as you guys are going to be able to see from this article here, a lot of things here, a lot of the verbiage just, that, that really stood out just makes you wonder exactly where all this is heading. And of course I have my own personal opinions as to where this is heading and it's heading towards the need to automate everything. And so, um, Earlier today, I had a chance to have the Wise Talk a Mastermind group, and a lot of this was talked about. And, of course, I shared my two cents on where I believe, you know, I, the part I play in this as far as positioning solutions to this. And the solution has a lot to do with thinking outside the box in regards to looking at your contribution in this world in a different way other than just going to school, getting a skill to start a career to then run into stuff like this where you're going to be downsized at no um, real concerns whatsoever by the employer themselves because once again as I always say it's not your employer's responsibility to take care of you it's up to you so it's going to head into a lot of what things I'm talking about and so I'll get into that in the days ahead so as, as I mentioned uh, just the article itself talks about the point that 10,000 jobs are being cut I just talked about Audi uh, a couple days ago 9,500 and then you're going to see within this video that I'm going to share with you uh talking about the article all the other cuts that are on the way and it's just the beginning so 2020 as i always mentioned is going to be something interesting but yet it's not hopeless for those that are thinking outside the box in regards to looking beyond employment and focusing more on deployment and that deployment has to do with your gifting and so it goes to the very core of your spiritual life or lack thereof the one that you're going to need in this next decade to make it through so i'll be sharing more of that but yet yeah, let's dive into the article a little bit and i also also Leave your thoughts down below. I appreciate the comments. All right. So here's the article that I wanted to share. And so this is as of yesterday. And it's one of the things where it's never good news to hear about the restructuring of the current manuf auto manufacturing sector. But yet it's real news. And I think it's worth uh, bringing it to people's attention. And so here we have from DW, this which is a German manu a German uh, news syndicate there. It says Daimler to cut thousands of jobs worldwide by 2022. And then once again, it's been worth their while to just mention how many jobs there are that they're looking to restructure as of now. This is their planned attempt to restructure. And just listen to the verbiage of as to how they're trying to spin this as if it's actually something that those 10,000 people can say, OK, yeah, I, I can understand how you can need to how you need to do this now in order to be more competitive in a sense. And so it, it, to me, it just basically shows the complete disregard for uh, corporations in regards to the, the very idea that they are a major part of people's life plan in regards to employment. In fact, that people have given their best to these corporations and there's no real true regard to the fact that by this restructuring so that they can be more competitive and, and adapt to change globally to be more competitive as a company that they actually are concerned with your livelihood. So this plays into more of what I'm talking about, you know, the need for uh, thinking outside the box when it comes to just the very concept of employment, because as I've always said, there's no such thing as job security. But yet I'm going to share with you a little bit of something that I'm working on now, which I think could be a blessing to those that are able and willing to want to you know, dive into a little bit further. But I'll thumb through this briefly, put the article below so you can find out more for yourself. But it says German car maker Daimler said the job cuts would help fund quote, large investments. So just the fact they're cutting jobs to fund large investments shows more of the fact that they're not really obligated to concern themselves with your livelihood, your financial futures. 
needed to transition to electric cars. The German car maker uh, will cut 10,000 jobs worldwide to help as it rolls out electric vehicles, says a Stuttgart-based maker of Mercedes-Benz said it aims to, quote, cut thousands of jobs worldwide by 2022 that would save $1.5 billion in staff costs. The layoffs includes eliminating 10% of management positions amounting to about 1,100 jobs. So they're not just do, going with the actual, probably the the, the, the the blue collar workers, those that are on a line putting the cars together, but they're going up to the offices now. We're going up to 1,100 jobs of people who are probably put in a, probably put in a good amount of time in a man, managerial sense. They're on the chopping blocks now. So imagine, put yourself in that position, being a manager in Daimler, having put in 10, 20, of course, those years don't really count when it comes to them needing to restructure f- to be more competitive in their attempts to put out electric cars. Says Daimler personal chief Wilfred Porth later told reporters that reduction would be, quote, in the five digits. So that lets me know not only will it probably be more than 10,000, they're just starting with 10,000. So that's the number they're willing to share with the public as they began to restructure. So for those that are new or the, those that are have been here for a while on the channel, I've been talking about, you know, especially earlier this year about the, the the verbiage, the lingo that they used, paint a picture as to what they're doing. And so restructuring is what this is all about, restructuring for them to be more competitive and with very little regards to how it will impact you if you are, per, you know, working for this company. And so this doesn't this just doesn't apply to the automotive manufacturing sector. It applies to every publicly traded company, especially, and even down to the very finest of the suppliers to all these companies. Ultimately, I believe that you are expendable if your sole life is dependent upon the decisions made by a boardroom of individuals that are not obligated to concern themselves with your financial future. It said the call aims to divert resources to develop CO2 neutral vehicles that require, quote, large investments. So the, the fact that they're trying to get up, get caught up with this whole push for climate change and the modifications for being more earth friendly, all that stuff is going on now. Jobs are expendable. It said the company, which employs 304,000 people globally, wants to reduce vacant positions, expand opportunities for partial retirement and in Germany offer a severance package to reduce administrative positions. So this is all part of their plan to eventually, as I, as I mentioned before, they're going to be cutting in the dig, in the five digits, which means 10,000 is probably just the beginning. So if they send five digits and they have 304,000 people employed, expect it to probably to, to probably go closer to the 80,000, 90,000, if need be, that's what they'll be willing to do in order to make their adjustments more viable for them to transition into the electrical vehicle system. So here's a little video here. There's more information. If you guys are interested, find out for yourself. It says Germany's Audi said earlier this week, it plans to eliminate 9,500 jobs by 2025. So as I mentioned, we got Volkswagen here, similarly announced 7,000 jobs in this past March and it says U.S. car maker Ford announced it was slash 12,000 jobs in Europe, 5,000 in Germany. So uh, once again, I've been talking about this for quite some time now about the move away from the old paradigm of employment and the need for others to begin thinking outside the box in regards to how you're going to provide for yourself. Because as you can tell, there's no such thing as job security. There's no loyalty in this particular realm when it comes to others providing for you. So it's going to boil down to what you do for yourself. And then this goes into more of what I, where I'm heading with this whole concept of thinking outside the blocks. And I've mentioned it several times, the need to think beyond employment and it has to do with deployment.